A Phoenix woman is being investigated for murdering her own mother and boyfriend. Law enforcement at the time says she stole their cars and credit cards to go on a shopping spree. 12 News journalist Chase Golightly is following this disturbing case and has the shocking details for us this afternoon. Gabrielle Axon of Phoenix is accused of going on a crime spree throughout Arizona. Uh, law enforcement believes that she may be involved in the murders of both her mother and her boyfriend. It all started in August 2022 when court documents say the 51 year old traveled to Kingman, Arizona, where her mom, Brenda Marshall, lived. The documents claim Marshall's roommate came home and saw a handwritten note allegedly from Marshall saying she was heading to Tempe to help her daughter move. But when Marshall's other daughter called Axon to check in on their mom. Axon kept making excuses as to why she couldn't talk to her. At one point, she even impersonated her mom on the phone to her sister. Around that same time, video captured Axon withdrawing money from her mom's bank account. A silver alert was eventually given for Marshall as authorities searched for her. Shortly after that alert, police found Marshall's car in this East Mesa parking lot. When they looked inside, they found her decomposing body placed inside of a plastic tote and covered with several items to try and hide it. Axon was arrested a month later and pleaded guilty to concealing her mom's dead body. This is where the second case comes in. According to court documents, police arrested Axon in Glendale when she sold her dead boyfriend's car. Just a few weeks after her mom's body was discovered, Axon called 911 to report her boyfriend was dead. When firefighters arrived, she didn't identify herself and left before police got there. The victim's brother told authorities he noticed credit cards, checkbooks, jewelry, and the victim's car were all missing. Close to $8,000 was also put on the victim's credit cards after he died. When Axon was arrested for her mom's case, she reportedly admitted to investigators that she did take all of those items belonging to her dead boyfriend and used his money to buy clothes, shoes, and an iPad. Here with me now live in Studio 12A for the backstory is 12 News journalist Chase Golightly. So Chase, what moves was Axon making to conceal everything in question here? Well, again, we're talking about two separate cases. That first one involving her mother, as we just heard, when her sister was calling to try to figure out, hey, how's mom doing? What's going on? She kept making excuses saying, oh, mom's asleep. You can't talk sure. to her or she's in the bathroom. You can't talk to her. And at one point even impersonated her mom on the phone, which her sister immediately caught and was like, hey, what's really going on? So you have that whole situation. And then with this other case involving her boyfriend, those documents said that uh, she stole a notary stamp from Tempe to forge the car's title into her name. Okay. She was telling law enforcement, oh, um, he's actually my husband. He gave me these titles and all these items before he died. So she really went through a lot of steps to try to hide everything, even forging documents to try to do so. Certainly, and those raising red flags to some of the family members and other people involved. So how was she eventually caught in all of this? Again, it kind of all came together. That Mazda that belonged to her boyfriend, she tried to sell it in Glendale. During all of this, with that silver alert for her mom, uh, a notice was given to the public saying, hey, we're looking for this woman. And the people that she was selling the car to recognized her, stalled her, and then called 911 so they could get there and make that arrest. I feel like that's so uncommon for someone to be like, wait a second, I recognize you 100%. from a, hey, police need your help identifying. So and amazing to be so in tune. Um, at this point, we know she's being investigated, as you reported, for the deaths of mom and boyfriend. But what does that mean as far as charges go moving forward? Exactly. So just to be clear, Axon is not facing any charges related to the murder of her mother or boyfriend. But again, Mesa police told us all of this is still under investigation. They're still looking into that matter. So we don't know when that's going to happen, but all of this is still under investigation. So we'll just have to wait and see how it all goes. And unclear at this point how mom and boyfriend died in these cases. Correct. Okay, Chase, thank you for the backstory there.